Hello everyone, Jake here, welcome to the video. This one is gonna be a little bit different to normal. I say a little bit, probably very different. It's not a Football Manager rebuild. It's not a long-term series like the one we've been doing. It's just gonna be a talking video, a one-off video where I talk about where the channel's going going forward because there's gonna be a few changes happening from here on out, at least for the next few months. And I just wanted to let you guys know about that. And also some new things we're looking to introduce to the channel. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know and give you a bit of a talky video. I'll keep it brief. It's very warm outside. I've got, you know, YouTube lights all over my face. I mean, a long sleeve top, I don't know why, but it's, uh, it's making me quite warm. So I'll try and keep this brief and just, you know, give you guys the basic facts that you need to know. Um, but yes, if this isn't something that interests you, don't worry. I'm not going to announce my retirement or anything like that. So feel free just to click off the video and come back for the next one. But if you want to uh, hit that like button on the way out, massively appreciate it. That goes for anyone watching. If you could hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next on the channel, that would be great. But we've got a few things to cover in this video. It's going to be a bit of a talky one. I'll try not to cut it up too much. So apologies if I yeah, ramble on a little bit, but um, we're going to be starting off with where the channel is right now. We'll be talking about where we're going to be going, some new things that we're adding, um, and just, I guess, general life updates as well. So I'll start all of this off by saying uh, the story of where we are right now. And that is that in terms of me personally, in November time at the start of FM23, I went part time at my work. You might already know about this. You might not. So I was originally working five days a week at my you know normal job and I had videos out for FM Scout and on the Jake Cooper channel and they were doing well enough that it's got to the point where I was able to say, you know what, I'm going to go for it for a year for all of FM23, I'm going to be part-time at work. So three days at work and two days working on YouTube stuff. Now, primarily the reason I'm able to do that, it's not from the Jake Cooper channel. You can look at the views and the subscribers on the channel and realize it, this isn't something that gives me enough income to be able to not work. But the FM Scout channel is a little bit different. If you don't know already, I make videos on the FM Scout channel, which in terms of the FM world is a fairly big YouTube channel, 150,000 plus subscribers. And I make four videos there a week. And it's got to the point where, like I said, I was able to go part-time and focus on that content. And that makes me a little bit of money, which I can then use to, you know, go part-time and really try and crack on with this YouTube thing and make it what I believe it could eventually be, who knows. And the aim was just to really give it a go for a year and see how I get on with YouTube, see whether it's something that I could potentially do uh, you know, more days a week long term, who knows, whatever it might be, where my life might lead. But I just wanted to make sure that whilst I had the ability to, I could try for a year and just see where it went. And at least I know if it doesn't work out after this year, that I tried doing YouTube like as a more active thing, I guess. So yeah, bear in mind going forward that YouTube is now technically a part-time job for me, mainly the FM Scout stuff, but the Jake Cooper channel, yes, it's not going to make me much money at all. You can look at the views and probably realize that. It's a little bit of extra pocket money, but I would have done this channel for fun anyway. It's the reason I started, I never intended to make money from it when I started making, you know, Chelsea videos on my laptop with my little earphones in, not even with a face cam. And here we are a few years later and we get a thousand of you every few days watching the Aberdeen series, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know where I am in terms of life because that will explain what I'm about to go on to. But you will have seen on the channel recently, we've been doing the Aberdeen series and uh, one-off rebuild videos as well. Now those rebuild videos are every two to three weeks or so. Um, and then the Aberdeen series takes up a big chunk of my time. It's not just the recording and the editing of the episodes. It's the playing all the matches in between. Uh, you guys probably all play FM if you watch FM, um, but it's not just like I can simulate ahead until February and show you guys the Champions League knockout stages. I have to play months and months of Football Manager in the Football Manager world to get to that point, And that can take hours. Now, that's something that I love doing and I'll continue doing, but it does take a lot of effort on the long-term series part, which takes away from what I can do in those rebuild videos. Um, and I've been thinking now that, spoiler alert, I'll give you a few seconds, but now that the Aberdeen series is over, we won the Champions League in the last episode, that it might be time just for a few months at least to try focusing more on those rebuild videos. Now that's not me saying that the long-term series are disappearing. They're not. I absolutely love them and I'll bring them back soon. I also know there's a particular audience that only like those long-term series, but I mean, anyone can see if you look at the view counts of the rebuilds compared to the long-term series, that the rebuild videos are much better for channel growth and also based on views, I probably get say three pound every thousand views. And that probably tells you everything you need to know about the channel's financials. So if I did a rebuild video that gets 10,000 views, that's like 30 pound pocket money. Awesome. Like I say, the Jake Cooper channel is 
isn't the thing that lets me go part-time. It's the FM Scout channel. So anything on here is a bonus. But then the Aberdeen series, if that gets a thousand views an episode, I'm probably getting two or three pounds from that, which is still nothing to sniff your nose up at. I'd make the videos for free. But yeah, just to let you know the financials behind it, I'd always be honest and open if anyone wants to know that stuff. And when you think about that, the financials behind it and the views that those separate videos gets, the rebuild compared to the long-term series, it does make sense to do more of these rebuild videos, particularly now that the Aberdeen series is over and focusing on them for a little bit to see how it might affect the channel because of course the Aberdeen episodes no one's going to join in on episode 30 you don't get new people coming to the channel to watch episode 30 of a series episode one has the most views of course of any series and then it will slowly tick down as people drop out of the series as you do and that's why the rebuild videos are so much better for channel growth because anyone can watch them FM players people that don't play FM maybe just a fan of the team that I've rebuilt they'll come across it oh awesome let me watch this and then they subscribe to the channel and it makes it better for when we eventually do another long-term series because we'll have more people on board. So I think for a little bit, we'll focus in on doing more of those one-off rebuilds. So I did say I'd try and keep it brief, so I'll just try and wrap it up quickly, but there are a few other things to mention just yet. But we spoke about the personal situation currently and trying to make this whole part-time situation work. In terms of where the channel's going, no long-term series for a little bit. We'll be focusing in on rebuilds because that can help the channel grow. And in turn, that will feed back later down the line when we start another long-term series, we'll have more viewers. But there's three other things that I want to potentially mention, and I need your guys' input on this, if possible. First thing is in terms of the equipment that we've got on the channel here. I want to be at the same level that some of the best YouTubers in the FM world are. So please do let me know if you think something looks off. To me, I make videos every day and it's hard to tell the differences between each one. But if you think the audio is bad on the channel or if you think the camera is not great or if you think the lighting is not great, I mean, not the best example right now because I'm recording at 3 p.m., 4 p.m., which I don't usually do. And there's probably light coming through my blinds. Um, but other than that, let me know what you think we could do to improve the channel in that way. On the same note, if there's anything you'd like to see on the channel, do let us know. Um, but yes, the other things that I'm potentially looking to introduce is one, I've mentioned this for a while, but the channel memberships on the channel, we have four or five channel members currently, but if I can change the way that that works and give you guys more benefit from being a channel member, maybe we can get more of you on board. And then the other thing is something that it's, it's very much just an idea at this stage, but do let me know if it's something that might interest you. Obviously, we're a very small channel and I don't think this would be a huge success, but I was thinking about doing some kind of merch. I feel like merch sounds a little bit distasteful straight away. It makes it sound like I'm going to have a cap with my name on it. Nothing like that. But what I wanted was uh, I've seen people make football kits basically for their community. And I did wonder if every year we could do like a limited, you know, maybe only 10 of them get made, 20 of them. I don't know how much interest there'd be. You'd have to let me know. But just an idea to every year make like a football kit that you guys can collect. I know Lelujo used to make his own football kit for his channel, like a Lelujo kit. We'd have a Jake Cooper FM kit and that maybe we do every year or so, depending on the interest in it. Just an idea that I've had. Maybe you guys do want a cap with the Jake Cooper FM logo on, but... I very much doubt that. Maybe I'll find an in-between. Maybe it'll be a t-shirt that instead of just saying the name of the channel on it, it will have something related to the series, you know, maybe something related to Duke because uh, he was such a hero in the Aberdeen series or, you know, something related to the Jake Cooper channel that isn't just the name. But uh, that's just an idea. Would there be any interest in any kind of merch like that? I know I'm not really big enough to do that kind of thing, but it is something that interests me, particularly the kit. I would really like making and designing a kit every year for you guys if there'd be an interest in it. But yeah, let me know down below. Other than that, though, I feel like that's everything we need to cover. This is probably more of a ramble than I expected it to be. I might have said it was going to be short. It didn't end up being so. I didn't plan how I was going to say this. I just wanted to get it all out there. You know everything about the current situation and where we'll be going going forward. There's a Sunderland rebuild coming out in a few days. And just in general, a massive, massive thank you to everybody who's helped support the channel, whether it's watching one video, liking one video, commenting once or watching everything. It really helps. And I can't believe that this channel has gone so far. Other people might look at it and say it's still a small channel. I know it is. But for me, and I know I always tell this story, but a few years ago during lockdown, I was making a Vitesse series on my laptop and I would like get really happy if I got 10 viewers on it. Now we get a thousand and it's, yeah, inc incredible stuff. I, I can't believe it still. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, I hope you all have amazing days. I'll see you soon on the next content. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I'll shut up now. Go and have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.